Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, well it's a congratulations to Hungani and Stephanie Ndlovu. So yes, it does seem that the Ndlovus are expecting a bundle of joy so definitely congratulations to them. Now they did post the news on their social media on the Ndlovu Uncut on Instagram. Now they posted the following picture and captioned it we are beyond thrilled and excited to share this moment with your own global gang tune in at 9 p.m on youtube to hear about the good news the blessing that is because god's timing is always perfect so probably by the time i actually upload my video their video would be on youtube so definitely do go and check it out and congratulate the lovely couple now apart from that they also did post on their separate instagram accounts stephanie Ndlovu posted two pictures and captioned them and when the time is right i the lord will make it happen hungani posted the following picture and captioned it god is the ultimate author ah bundle of joys ne but yeah, judging by the comments in the comment section, you know, a lot of people are happy for them. And I do know that they have a lot of fans, especially on YouTube. We will obviously congratulate them when they post that video on YouTube. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, why Black Diamond dumped ambitious entertainment. <laughs> so Afropop duo Black Diamond made up of Ndumiso Mleche and Spelele Dunwa have recently revealed that they are fully independent. So they posted a video on their Instagram account and captioned it, we're fully back in business and finally independent. Link on the bio for the full video. Now they have a full music video that you should definitely go watch on YouTube. But apart from announcing on their Instagram in a recent episode of Podcast and Chill with Mac G, they announced that they have indeed left Ambitious Entertainment and they left in December of last year. Spelele said the following, It was between sticking with the record label or choosing growth. We wanted growth more than anything because we wanted to tap into the African market. There was a clear disconnect between our vision and theirs. It was nice working with them, but we wanted to shoot to the other side. So yeah, going off that particular statement that he gave over there, apparently, you know, there was some limitation of growth when it comes to them staying at Ambitious Entertainment. Look, with all the amount of artists that have left Ambitious Entertainment and the, I suppose, cold and harsh words that they've had afterwards, ish, yeah, nah, ambitious. It's not really looking all that good for that record label. But I will say, you know, when it comes to what Black Diamond was saying on the Mac G's podcast and chill, it wasn't all that sad. It didn't seem like it was a split that was covered with some bad blood. But yeah, like I said, Black Diamond released a music video that featured Soul Penduga and Mac G for their song Ilanga. Now, it has been months since the artists actually shared music with their fans, so I'm sure this is a welcome song. And getting back to their relationship with Ambitious Entertainment, Black Diamond did say that they are on good terms with the record label and would be open to working with them again in the future. So yeah, like I said, it does seem that the split was amicable. And a little bit of background on the duo, the musicians are from Ladysmith, KZN, and according to the reports, they met at around 2010 on a school trip where they both participated in a music cipher on their school bus. Now, they released their debut album, Ingola, in 2017, which became their first iTunes number one hit. Now, the duo first gained a huge audience for their single, Ipanoi, which I will say I, to this day, do love that song. I love the music video as well. But yeah, that song was released in 2019. It received a Summer Record of the Year award. Their second studio album, Umuti, which was released in 2020, spawned a platinum selling single, Love Letter. Ah yes, gents, definitely do write your bae a love letter, old school pen and paper. Let us show these women that romance is not dead. I mean, an email or a long WhatsApp message could technically be a love letter, ne? But yeah, definitely congratulations to Black Diamonds on being independent and all the best for the future. 
our next topic, late Busisiwe Lurai is up for Best Actress at the Softest. The family of the late Busisiwe Lurai have mixed emotions after the news that she has been nominated for the Best Actress Award at this year's 16th Annual South African Film and Television Awards, the Softest, just days after her sudden death. Busisiwe was found lifeless by her father on Sunday night and after the paramedics were summoned, she was declared dead at around 11.15pm. Now her family has said that they had a bittersweet experience when they saw the nomination online like the rest of South Africa. Now according to the reports, Busi's aunt Sonti Lurai gave the following statement, we really have mixed emotions however we do understand that the show must go on. We are joyful which would have been a norm whenever she was nominated. Then we would have had a proper celebration. We are in limbo in terms of how are we going to do that now. So the timing wasn't perfect but it's not our time. So a part of us are expectant about it while a part of us are quite saddened by the timing and not knowing what to do in terms of the celebration part. Now, Busi's first ever softer was for her role as Pumzila on the SABC1 sitcom City Sesla in 2005-2006 and again in 2010 and also for its spin-off series Ses Topla. Now, Busi won her first softer for Best Supporting Actress in a TV Comedy in 2006. In 2011 and 2021, she again won the award for Best Actress in a TV Comedy for City Sesla and How to Ruin Christmas. Now her aunt said that after she heard the news about the nomination, she reflected on what a hard worker Busi was. The aunt went on to say, I just had a colleague of mine popping in today just talking about her work ethic. You know, the stuff that people don't see. The late nights, us having to go through scripts and having to redo readings with her that we don't understand. We just read like we are reading a book. She would read in an actor's opponent so that she would remember her lines. The late nights and early mornings where she would sleep at 4 and have to get up because call time is 6. The way we would have to find a way to ensure that she gets away without having to have a burden on Anya going to school or something like that. So yeah, we know her work ethic was at another level. Uh, definitely an interesting insight into her work ethic so I suppose when it comes to the nomination it's uh, well deserved and I will say this I have watched How to Ruin Christmas the first and the second one and she was absolutely awesome. My personal prediction is that she's definitely going to win it. I mean do get in the comment section down below and let me know do you guys predict her winning because let's be honest the nomination is not in question as it is well deserved. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, please do me a huge favor. If you did enjoy the video, do share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.